so just finished watching Revenant. Um, wow. Um, off the bat, definitely the cinematography looked amazing. It just it just screamed amazing cinematography. I mean, I got to give it up. Like, it, it, like, Birdman actually had pretty good cinematography. I got to say the tracking shots are definitely, like, you can see that. Like, you can see that those, those choices were made again in um, these shots. And tracking shots are so hard to accomplish when so much is going on, especially when you see like the fighting scenes and stuff. So it takes a good amount of skill and it also takes a lot of creativity to like kind of figure all this thing out. So I have to give it up for like the camera crew and everybody else that did that. And that shot alone, I can tell I'm going to be amazed by more to see because I, I can tell, I know it's going to be more, a lot more to see in this film. Um, I want to say, um, Leo, <laughs> I hope this is it. I hope I every single minute you spoke or every shot I saw, I was like, this is the moment that's going to win you that Academy. I know it. I could tell. I don't know. What it is. I don't know what it is. And I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm hopeful. I'm a, I'm a hopeful Leo fan. Uh, I know a lot of people that, you know, were like if it was up to a vote, Leo, on like the public we would have voted you as number one actor, like every academy, every academy. You wouldn't even have to act, and we would still give it to you because you're that great. You're you're our childhood hero, acting wise. So yeah, um, I thought the the acting seemed pretty good. I of course he's like that kind of guy that just does one of those amazing performances. He tries really, really hard and he works really, really hard. Um, you know, he's that kind of guy that takes take after take after take. And he's the one who's asking for them sometimes. He's like, I want to do it again. I want to do it again. You got to admire that. And not in the actor, you know, he, he's in it for, you know, like, like not just, you know, obviously money, but, but it's also, you know, like the love of it. And you can tell, like, he's, like, almost like an old-school actor where, like, like he's passionate about it, you know? He's, you can tell he's not in it for, you know, the glitz and glam all the time. Like, he's, you know, he's 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 a pretty laid-back kind of guy, sort of. Kind of, sort of. He's gotten better over the years. I feel like, you know, before he used to be a little bit more talked on. And now it's kind of died down more and you get to see, like, he's being more serious about his acting not just more serious, just like more serious in the public domain kind of version, like where, you know, like the news and stuff. Um, so, um, directing wise, um, Alejandro, um, I loved Birdman. I did. I loved it. It really was a good film. Um, not sure if you would have won best director up against like another kind of film, uh, I felt like this last season was um, kind of easy. So, um, and I'm sorry, and I don't, I don't mean to offend anybody, but it wasn't like, you know, like any film jumped at me and I was like, oh, wow, you know, that one would have, like that one is the one that should win. Like I usually do that, but last year was not like one of those years. Like maybe like I, I enjoyed Boyhood too. It was all right. Like. That was cute, I guess. Yeah, like the coming in age story, cute. Yeah, um, but Birdman was good. It's just like I feel like it's just such a leap. Like it's like from Birdman, this like you know, kind of like a satire. Sat kind of like it's funny. It's dramatic. It's you know, it's artsy. Yeah, it's definitely artsy. Um, <laughs> how to incorporate that into a film like this one like this one you know these kind of storylines are like those kind of storylines that you know that might be like really amazing like fuck like ooh, and i almost dropped the f-bomb but no fucking amazing yeah fucking amazing yeah shit fuck it yeah fucking amazing damn that's the kind of film I want to see. And that could be this kind of film and this kind of story. But I'm, I'm not sure um, about 
uh, Alejandro skills. I mean, I just, I don't know. It's just different, you know, and it'll be different. And then, you know, but this will show me how good he is, you know, and let's see how he, did he really deserve the, the best director award? Let's see it. Let's see if, I mean, if he can get it in again and at least a good film and he doesn't win it, but he still gets a good film in and at least gets Leo the freaking award, then I'm all for it. I'm all for it. All right. Um, and I think I want to do one last note. Um, I mean, the premise of the film is really cool. Um, the only thing I have, like, kind of a problem is, like, I don't know. The story is, like, played out. I don't know if, like, that's just me. Is it just me? Or, like, I mean, ah, they killed my son. You know, I'm going to go revenge, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of. I don't know. There's got to be other stories out there. I know it. I just know it in my bones there is. But, gosh, really? I don't know. Okay. But we're hopeful that it's still going to be good. And maybe there's plot twists and all kinds of stuff. Maybe they're not really even telling us the real story in the trailer. That's happened to me so many times where, like, the trailer is completely off. So, let's see. Maybe. And maybe it's super hilarious, like Birdman. And, if anything, I just come out of it, like, laughing. <laughs> All right, uh, and that was my review. I'm going to see the movie this weekend, and um, let's see what happens. Hopeful, hopeful, this might be it. But we got to see the whole performance of Leo. The trailer doesn't tell you any everything. Just little snippets of, like, really aha moments. So um, the real deal will be my review telling you if I really do believe he might have a shot. So, all right, uh, see you next time.